are painkillers a gateway to addiction? Today on Dumb Arbor Life, we're focusing on a new painkiller that has even ER doctors worried. This is now putting a new drug on the market where one pill will kill a child. Plus, we learn what new role the DEA is playing to help crack down on prescription pain medication abuse. We asked for your help, and you gave it, and yet another fugitive is behind bars. Let's see if you can help us once again with our Monday's Most Wanted. Firearm safety seems like it should go without saying, but each week you hear another story of a young life cut way too short. Why? Because their friend or their sibling got a hold of a gun. Coming up, we're going to tell you about some safety measures that could be as easy as giving up your fingerprint. Angie Hicks from Angie's List is sounding off a safety alarm of her own. This one deals with contractors. We learn how you can get what you want done right the first time. New moms and dads have so many gadgets to help them know their little one's wants and needs. We're going to feature the Diaper Detective and show you how this little gadget could actually help save lives. You know them from their popular reality show. Bill and Juliana Rancic join us to talk with us about their little cutie, Duke, whether a sibling may be on the way. We're going to break that with you right now. And what keeps this power couple going strong? And we preview four primetime hits from Fox's Gotham to Sleepy Hollow to CBS's Scorpion and NCIS Los Angeles. We've got you covered. Del Marble Live starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Live from the Storage Studio D. And I'd like to be the first one to, maybe probably not the first one, but wish you a happy National Coffee Day. You, in fact, are the first one to wish me a happy oh, really? National <laughs> Coffee not, Day. You're not a coffee I'm drinker. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but that doesn't mean everybody else doesn't celebrate. Yeah, you still have time to celebrate. I, for one, mm -hmm. am not drinking any more coffee today because right. I want to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's probably a lot of people drinking extra coffee uh, today after the weekend, especially oh if they goodness. participated in the Seagull Century. More than 6,000 cyclists. And just to give you an idea, take a look at this picture I took outside my front door. That's your yeah. front door? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they go by my house and I mean there were points where there was just no getting out of my driveway. Wow. But it was a great cause. People who rode it said it was well organized and just a fun time for all. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. Well something else that was going on, another thing that you may have attended was the wildly popular dogfish dash that was over the weekend in Milton. This event sells out every year so uh, I certainly want to say thank you to all the runner sponsors and volunteers. Uh, the Dogfish Dash raised 75000 bucks for the Delaware chapter of the Nature Conservancy. That brings the Dash total donations to $275,000 to the Nature Conservancy in Delaware over the years. Uh, there in the picture you could see Sam, you could see Mariah Caliagione. Uh, I never can see her <laughs> in my Dogfish Head. And Richie Jones of the Delaware Nature Conservancy. Yeah, right with there. that big check. Big check. Well, speaking of conservancy, Eastern Shoreland Conservancy will host its annual fundraiser, the Party to Preserve. It's actually happening in a couple of weeks. This year's theme is Tuckahoe Turnout. Auction items in this year include a week-long stay and round of golf at the edge of the Grand Teton National Park in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. That sounds nice. Mm. A guided kayak trip for four on the Nassawango Creek with a conservationist. Dinner for eight prepared in your home by Bartlett Pear Inn owner and chef Jordan Lloyd. So much more. If you'd like a link, just go to our website, WBOC.com. You can buy tickets and so on and so forth. That looks like a wonderful thing to do on a pretty day as a kayak. You know what another wonderful thing to do on a pretty day is? Yeah. Pull a plane. Okay. Um, I'll it go was with it. <laughs> a great day for pulling a plane yesterday. Thousands of spectators turned out for the sixth annual Easton Airport Day. New and vintage planes on display. And 11 teams competed in pulling a 14,000 pound jet 50. Feet. CrossFit mm. Nation had the fastest time. Oh, wow. How about that? Well, since you brought up airplanes and airports, speaking of fun at the airport, of course, the uh, Sussex County Airport in Georgetown will host the 7th Annual Wings and Wheels Fall Festival. That's actually happening this weekend. Yeah. The event features a fly-in of vintage planes and a huge car show with classic cars, trucks, and so much more. They have um, World War II reenactments, food vendors, craft vendors, musical entertainment games, and of course, events for the kids. A lot of great things yeah. to do. There. Did you happen to see 10-year-old Braden Quinn Mannering on Rachel Ray just a couple hours ago yeah. right here on WBOC? The Delaware boy won the 2013 Healthy Lunchtime Challenge. He got to go to the White House for the Kids State dinner. He was a guest there giving a speech to introduce Michelle Obama before the Kids State dinner. Now when she asked him how he was going to pay the experience forward, he came up with this idea for Braze Brown bags to help feed those in need. And as of this morning, he's handed out over 15,000 bags. Get this, he wrote on his blog in July of last year, take a look at this picture, mm -hmm. I gave out a bag this morning to a man standing in the rain. 
He was holding a sign saying he was homeless and walking with a cane. I felt so bad for him. I put my mom's umbrella in the bag, a water bottle, two fruit snack, uh, snacks packs, a bag of chips, and a granola bar. When I gave it to the man, he said, thank you, son. Before my mom and I drove away, he was already eating the chips. Aww. What a terrific idea. Now, if you'd like to find out more about Bray's Brown Bags, maybe even if you'd like to contribute, just visit WBOC.com. Click on our picture right there at the top of the page. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? That is. You know, we, we know, I know I have got at least two remote cars at home. Yeah. Uh, yeah. got some, mm -hmm. sort of, okay, well, I know I've got two of them. Sometimes, unfortunately, though, uh, they make some noise, and the puppy just doesn't understand. No, that. yeah. Now, take a look at the little girl playing with her little remote. Puppy's uh -huh. trying to figure out what makes all the noise. Then he goes straight into protection mode. I love and it. And there's only one thing that he can do to think of to protect the baby. Sit on his head. Sit on that baby's head. <laughs> this baby will be just fine, thank you. I will take care of it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Mom, make it oh. stop. <laughs> well, you can protect your baby with a new invention that some are calling a godsend. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, we'll hear all about the diaper detective, what it detects, and why so many moms are jumping on board. You also want to protect your home. Many people turn to firearms to do that. But of course, you got to be careful. We're going to learn about some security options when it comes to firearms in your home helping to keep your loved ones out of harm's way. You can protect your community too, and it's as easy as spotting someone on our list of Monday's Most Wanted. Lieutenant Tim Robinson is here with another batch of fugitives. Uh, coming up next though, it can be easy to take a batch of pain pills when your body aches. Unfortunately, those pills can become habit forming, dangerous, even deadly for some people. We're gonna learn about new regulations aimed at decreasing prescription drug overdoses. Delmarva Life will be right back. Del Marvo Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Del Marva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 